right, students, so in this clip, we're going to be going over an, an easy way to remember uh, the formula for the sum and difference of cubes, how to factor the sum and difference of cubes. So what we're going to do first is basically write down what the two formulas are and observe them and see if we can find out the pattern, okay? So for the sum, for the sum of cubes, we have a to the third plus b to the third. And the factored form is a plus b times you square the first one minus you multiply both of them and you square the last one okay so you have a plus b a square and b square and then a b at the center for the difference for the difference you have um a cubed oh snap a cubed uh, minus minus b cubed that one is going to become the factored form is a minus b, okay, times an a squared the first one plus the product of the first and the last plus the square of the last, okay? So let's look at the pattern here and observe it and see. Uh, there's some patterns here that can help us remember how, how the signs behave, okay? We know we have the two variables first, the square of the first, the product of the two and the square of the last. Now how about the signs still? um one thing you, you want to notice is that you you have for the for this side right here for the sum you have if we do some accounting we have um two pluses and two pluses and one minus okay and one minus how about um on the other equation and the difference of cubes how many pluses we have here we have two pluses and one minus wow so that tells us that for both of them the signs that we always have two pluses and one minus right so let's keep that in mind so how do we arrange the two pluses and the one minus one thing you want to note is that whatever the sign is between the cubes that's what the first sign is okay so let's put let's write down some notes so we can keep track of uh, what our observations so note First one is we always have always have two pluses uh, and one minus. Get them right pluses again. We always have two pluses and one minus. Always, regardless of if it's a sum or difference. And then number two. You notice whatever the sign is between the cubes, that's what the first sign is. So when you have a plus in between the cubes, the first sign is a plus. If you have a minus in between the cubes, the first sign is a minus. All right, so uh, the sign between the cubes determine the first sign first sign okay all right what else can we know what do you notice about the last sign of both of these the last sign is always a plus okay so the last sign is always a plus for both of them the last sign is always plus all right so don't forget you always have two pluses and one minus the first sign is determined by the sign between the cubes. The last sign is always a plus, and then the middle sign basically alternates. This one alternates uh, between between whatever is the opposite of what you have here. So if you have a plus here, you're gonna have an opposite here. If you have a minus here, you're gonna have the opposite here. Okay. So the middle sign is basically the opposite of of whatever you sign whatever sign um, you have here, okay? The last sign always a plus. This is determined by the first one, and then the middle sign is the, is the opposite, okay? So for four, the middle sign, the middle sign is opposite of the signs of the signs of uh, between the cubes. All right. All right. So uh, let's try out some examples 
without the formula to see if we can uh, basically uh, solidify our understanding on this whole concept. So example one factor, factor um, x to the third minus 27. So let's do this. So there are two ways to do it. I can write down my formula and break it down, or I can try and see if I can recall how to do it. So let's try and see if we can recall how to do it, all right? This is already a cube, so this is like my A. What is 27 as a cube form? Uh, let's break it down. 27, I can take out 3. 9, take out 3. 3. Since we have three threes here, 27 is 3 to the third. Okay? So 3 to the third. So now, I'm going to set it up as follows. I'm going to have x and 3. You just bring both of them first. And then you square the first one. Multiply the first and the last. And then you square the last. Alright? So a, b, a squared, a, b, b squared. Now well, how do the signs work? Remember the first sign is always a sign in between the cubes. So you have, this is a minus, so this is going to become a minus. The last sign is always a plus, and the middle sign is always the opposite of this sign, which is a plus. Okay? Alright, let's try another example. I'm going to be doing easy examples in this clip. Um, next clip, I'm going to be doing some much more complicated ones, okay? So I'm just trying to keep it simple in this clip so that um, you can understand understand the concept, okay? So x to the third minus 8. Well, let me write down the formula here so you can see how, how it matches. So the formula is a to the third minus b to the third equals a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So that's the formula, okay? So let's try the second example. Let's say it's x to the third plus, change the sign, 8. We're going to factor that. So I want to express both of them as cubes. This is already a cube, so this is x to the third plus. How do you express 8 as a cube? Let's break it down. 2 times 4. This one breaks nicely into 2 to the third. So it's going to be 2 to the third. All right? So now, how do we factor it? So I'm going to have my parentheses. I'm going to put the first, both of them down first, the two cube roots, x and 2. Square the first. Multiply both of them. Square the last, 4. Because 2 squared is 4, just as 3 squared was 9. Now, how do the signs work? The first sign is always a sign in between the cubes, plus. The last sign is always a plus, regardless. The middle sign is always the opposite of a sign in the middle which is a minus so that goes your factor form all right so just for confirmation i'm just going to put the uh formula up here a cube plus b cube equals a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square okay so this is just to help you remember the formula i'm going to make another video to really explain to really help you master how to do this if you have the formula accessible, okay? Um, thanks for watching this clip. I'd like you to please subscribe to my videos um, just by clicking uh, above here, up here, to subscribe to my videos. And then if you like this uh, clip, please like it here. Um, and feel free to request videos of any concepts you're struggling with, and I'll, I'll try and make a video for you. Collection of my clips on myGoodServe.com. Have a wonderful day and thanks again for uh, watching this clip.